Here's a second example of the area model. And this one's actually when you divide um, by a proper fraction. This is actually a little bit tougher. I actually think the area model is one of the harder ones to draw, um, especially this one. So like always, I think the best thing to do is actually solve this and see what answer you're trying to draw your model towards. So 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds. I can't divide across, um, so I, I, I will choose to use the reciprocal again. So I'll have 3 fourths times, if I write the reciprocal of my divisor, it would be 3 seconds, and that's going to give me an answer of 3 times 3 if I do, multiply my numerator, and 4 times 2 of my denominator, 9 eighths, which will give me, um, if I put this in simplest form, 1 and 1 eighth, because 9 divided by 8 is one whole amount, one group of 8, and I have one left. So when I go to draw this, it's similar to the other area model example I did. Uh, I, best shape to use is a rectangle. Because remember, area covers. And if we're talking about like the area of a rectangle, I'm doing base times height. So if I draw my three force, I can draw my three force. So it's easy to draw force if I break it in half and then break each side into half. I'm going to need to label it. Zero force. Um, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. And I'll color in my three fourths. Okay. So what I'm doing now is since this is area model, I have to look at the multiplication. So I have 3 fourths and I'm multiplying by 3 halves. So the, the denominator tells me what I'm breaking things into. So I need to break this in half, so I'm going to break it into two pieces, because that's halves. So I break it in half, which is cool. And um, I need to label this. So I have 0 halves, I have 1 half, and I have 2 halves, or 2 over 2. Now. The numerator tells me how many of the halves I have. So I have three of them. So if I, I'm going to have to do the half all the way across because my halves are my horizontal. So if I do this across, there's one. Here's my second one. And I actually need a third. This tells me that I need three. So the problem is I actually don't have a third. So what I'm going to actually need to do is I need to draw another set of fourths. So I'll draw my fourths. I purposely drew it right below. So I could just use my same labels. Here's my fourth, my one fourth, my two fourths, my three fourths, and my four fourths. And I'll shade it in. Hopefully my video is not too wobbly. It's hard to film yourself and shade at the same time. So there's my three fourths. And I need to break it in halves again because this tells me I need to use half. So if I break this in half, so I had one half. There's my second half. Here is my third half right here. And remember, I should label this side. So this is zero halves, one half and two halves. So if you think about it, I have a half, two, three, and four halves, but I have three of them shaded in. Remember my answer is identified by the areas that are double shaded. So if I look at this up here, the part that's double shaded is actually six eighths. And the part that's double shaded here is one, two, three out of eight. So I need to add these two together. I got enough room out here on the end. So six eighths plus three eighths will give me nine eighths. And if I put that in simplest form, I have one and one eighth, which matches 
what I originally saw for one and one eighth. I hope these help. Uh, I will add um, a tape diagram as well. Thank you.